Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baje. It's a brand new year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Happy New Year to you all. And it's a great year for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year is pregnant with so many good things that God prepared ever before the world began for you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, it will deliver everything that God has put in it for you in Jesus name. Amen. And today, you know, it is important to start the year with the word of God because the word of God is the beginning of all things. In the beginning was the word. So this is the beginning of a new year. And so in the beginning is the word and was the word and is the word and forever will be. Amen. Make progress. Glory to God. Do you know God wants you to make progress this year? God wants you to make remarkable progress this year. He wants you to take steps that will lead you to your wealthy place. God wants you to make moves that will take you to the place that he has designed for you. That Rehoboth that he has designed for you, a place where there's room and fruitfulness. That's where God is taking you and he wants you to make progress on a daily basis onto your wealthy place. Glory to God. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18 tells us, it says, The path of the just is as a shining light, and it shines more and more even unto the perfect day. That tells you God wants you to have it better and better. He wants you to have it greater and greater. He wants you to have it more beautiful by the day. That's his plan for your life. For the path of the just is as a shining light. And that was a chart God gave to Moses at the verge of the Red Sea. And he was contemplating. He didn't know what to do, whether to return back or whether to turn to the right or to the left. And God spoke to him, why are you crying to me? Tell my people to go forward. That means God always leads his people forward. This year, God is leading you forward not backward. Whatever mistakes you've made in the past, keep them behind you. Don't look to them anymore. Let God be your motivation. Let his plan for your life be your motivation. Don't look to the mistakes of the past. Look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. So make progress daily. Do not let the thoughts of the things you could not overcome in the previous year, you know, overwhelm you. Don't let them hunt you down. Let the thoughts of the plan of God for you, the goodness of God for you, the faithfulness of God concerning you overwhelm your heart. Think of his goodness this year. Think of his faithfulness and make progress. Make progress daily. The Spirit of God will lead you and guide you into your wealthy place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not let your obstacles, the challenges that you have faced thus far motivate you or govern your life. Let God's purpose lead you and guide you. Be motivated by God's plan for you. Be motivated, not by the things that weighed you down and the things that, you know, um, limited you in the past. Don't say, well, I don't think I can do it anymore because I've tried over and over and again, over and over again, and I, I couldn't do it, and I don't think I can do it. You can do all things through Christ who, who strengthens you. And so uh, make bold to declare that and make daily progress. Amen. Take bold step towards the fulfillment of your destiny. It's a great year for you. And I would like to prophesy into your life and speak God's word, the beginning of all things. You are blessed and prosperous. This is your year of increase. And this is your year of entering into your wealthy place in Jesus name. Amen. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Bless you.